Again, the dragons pull through. Tugram's sieging armies have lost at Celestial Haven. We must find a way to start a war. It will need to be with one of the larger factions, either that or Nocturne directly. The options that lay ahead are Alfred Elderstone, to the north, or to turn on Hambinger across the mountains. Good thing Celis has found something. She just doesn't know what. It is an ancient temple, mostly destroyed, but there is an altar that has been magically sealed. There are skulls in these odd colanders at each corner. We will have to work to pump the water out of the temple. Then we can figure out its secrets. Welcome back, folks. Back with Lumarvin Siri. So you don't feel the difference in time, but I certainly do. It's been about a week since I've recorded this. And now I have to uh, remember exactly what I was doing. So I do remember that um, in between episodes, I played out to see what would happen if we actually hit Celestial Haven. And let me tell you, it is not pretty. There are armies in the north that immediately strike both Darkspire and Manafont. Um, we probably could fend off Darkspire. Manafont would have been a different story. We don't have the armies for it. We'd go way into the negative to get it. And building troops is cheap, but maintaining them is super expensive. So all these guys, like having, like, how do I explain this? This army costs an absolute fortune. 51, 5, and 3. 51. I can have three of these, and that's it. That's all I get, right? So, like, that's 44, okay? This guy, he's 34 and 10. This is an insanely expensive army. So... Yeah, I don't uh, don't really know what to do, but it isn't going to be here. I mean, this army could do it. Um, it could take Celestial Haven, but it's not going to. It's going to do something else. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Use the link in the description. You know what to do. You know what to do. And we'll see what we can actually accomplish. Um, some options is getting more more uh, Imperium here, and then like, taking over the vassals. I could also throw down more cities and just release them as vassals too. Like, I could throw a city down over here, release it as a vassal. I could throw it down kind of anywhere. Maybe underground actually might be a good spot. Yeah, maybe throw one down over here. Maybe throw one down over here and just release it as a vassal. Yeah, that's doable. Another ruler was denounced. It's good that these guys want to fight each other. Um, the the current situation is pretty bad because we can't uh, we can't declare wars. Handbinger, we are defensive pact with him, so he's helping us. We're helping him, but he's our he's our prime target for attacking, and I think I have to attack him because he's the only one I can attack without anyone coming to get us. And I think he's gonna die anyway to Blint. Blint we can't attack because this defensive pact will be triggered. They guarantee we'll take it. And this guy is the one who's causing me problems because he's an alliance with Alfred. Cruel Bright Lord. He's a cannibal too. Ugh, gross. So this these guys' alliance is pretty bad for us. And the defensive pact he has makes it so we can't attack these dudes, right? So then any, anyone that has a defensive pact with this guy, so like Blunt's defensive pact with him, makes it so we can't attack him. We could attack Noctis, which might be one of our only other choices to hit Noctis. Um, but I do feel like Hambinger's going to die, so I might want to just march my army down to High Ridge and start working on taking it, because I have a feeling... He's going to lose it. And if I'm going to be pushing into uh, Warwell here, the only way to go there is through Ambinger. So I may just have to turn on him. I don't know. We will just announce these guys have cleared rivalry, and nothing's going to happen to that. Um, I'm going to put this guy here. Because you're going to get him. This infestation, I don't need to deal with. City. Requires... 
requires silliness. Um, you walk south towards Hollow Hall. Something like that. We must announce you. We know this. Imbinger's back. And let's try and eco some more. I need mana. We also need the Overlord's Tower. One at forty-five. That's not too bad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we need some mana. So get that. The hole produced a monolith. Good. But what next? Working skill would be nice because we have two mines. We need a third when we do the Dark Forge. Somewhere. Can't do Mage Guild. Don't have the conduits for it. So, Prime Merchant's Guild is the best choice. Get us some income. Dreadspire is building stuff. You're going to need defenses. That is facts. Shipyard, you can be shrines, you can be all kinds of stuff. Underground library as well. So I think buying this, spending money maybe next turn to get it, would be a good idea. Right born. Because the major race transformation's coming. Desiccate structure. That would write five mana. Yeah. I think it's just baneful curse for now. I also believe you I think so he needs to get over there. But I think you're just gonna stay put for now. Just roll the turn over. Getting this corrupt soul might be a good idea too. Major gunner is also very good because they have a very big gun. Hmm. I'll keep thirty-one mana. I need my mana to go up, not down. So we need way more, way more mana. We need a lot of conduits. Right now we have magic coming. Yeah, I need this. Oh, here was game one rank. I also want this. This thematically is what we want to get. This is also very good for us. Another ruler was announced. Let me know Noctis has crossed me. Yeah, well, you have a defensive pack of Blint, so that doesn't help me. Can you get rid of that? And then you have all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Pain in the butt. Painful curse. Done. Okay. We're going to need some major magic stuff. Astral trade relay. This would be good. Cold dark wouldn't help because we have no mana. Um, to the construct. Doesn't particularly help. Artifacting does help. But again, no mana. Except for archers. Utility does get us more mana. I think forest doesn't get us more mana, but we do get enshrined protectors. We also get this, which would help quite a bit. Tribunal stability. Contrabeak and mighty meek. Come on, fate. Astral Bond, Chain Lightning. It's three people. Amplify Minds. Do Lightning Arrows. Yeah. I think maybe this one, because you get the Phase Beast. This is Tier 4, and you get Astral Trade Relay, which gives extra money. Um. That's Astral, the Archmage Tome. I 
Tome of Paradise. Tome of the Reaper. What do we need? I just need one more. And we can get Tome of the Reaper. You need eight tomes. Raise Undead Army. Yeah. Battlefield Reanimation and Withering Mist. This is a uh, combat enchantment. Each turn for three turns. So all enemies take 15 damage. Come blind and weakened. That is a huge spell. Wow. Okay. Cryomancy doesn't help us. Yeah, they were going to go magic. Amplification? Is the one? No, it's celebration. Yeah, the tier 4 phase BCS yes, will trade relay. It's like that. Magic. The mage who fully utilizes the potential of magic to expand their tactical options on the field of battle. That is a cunning mage. Imagine a hapless commander, all prepared for an oncoming assault, only to suddenly find themselves facing a pincer attack. A pincer the attack. Teleportation provides. All right, teleportation. It's great. Um, go in. On the journey. Just a little journey. I want to hit this. This is Noctis land, I think. Okay. We'll do the next turn. We got 422. We're almost there. And we're four turns away from Scry Shadows, which is what we'll get. I'm going to spend it. It's thematic is why we're getting it, not because I think we're going to win. Um, this this effort may not. <laughs> I'm doubting. I'm doubting. <laughs> I am doubting. Losing Omnispire was a big hit. To Mr. Thorgrim here. Now, if these guys can, like, break their alliances and stuff, that'd be great. That'd be lovely. Otherwise, we're going to have to fight... An uphill battle. Um, yeah. Rot, Riot, and Manafort. Hold on. South of Shouting and Breaking Glass, yes. Um, I don't have enough to spend this. Deploy the garrison. Apparently, there is no garrison. Just, uh, round up the riders and kill them. They're dead. And everyone becomes happy because of it. That makes sense. Uh, these guys could rivalry. You're now very evil. Three cities are not very happy about this. Is the whole squad good? Is that why we're having such a problem? Sort of, yes. <laughs> Except for Noctis. He could be my buddy. <laughs> Mr. Noctis, do you care to be my buddy? Uh, you're reserved isolationist. Negotiate. Empire 200 is what I need. I need you to get rid of your defensive pact. He has a crit rivalry, which is okay. Gloom Hollow grows again. You know the quarry? That's good. Uh, World Troop can't win. I would like to take this. Oh, there's Blint. Hello, buddy. Go here. Blint is at war with this guy? He is. Blint's going to take it. He's coming in hot with this army. Free army. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to walk through here. I need... 
I think we can just run south, right? Okay, well, you guys stay together. We'll have to catch up. Evil presence. I know. The workshop causing problems. As it should. Okay. I don't... I really am not sure what to do. We have to build up our mana reserves. He's going back out of ground. Okay. I can't remove this guy because I need him as a bulwark. I need his army as a bulwark against others. Um, yeah, Incantatum. It's just in a spot. If I move here, these guys probably are just going to come into the water. I don't actually know. 393, 500. Well, I know this one wouldn't. You might have hidden units. Message received. What, what are you saying? Perhaps I'm better off without you. Oh, great. Great. Can we settle our grievances? Not just bound to gold wonder. I'm not going to pay you. Which I'm not interested in. Okay. You're annoying. Hey, Binger. You like us even more. You want us to have an alliance. How can I turn an alliance to our advantage somehow? Somehow I could do this. I know I was just talking about like removing this guy entirely, but Okay, he has haste berries. Let's have a look. No, I need silver tongue fruit, I need rainbow, so yeah, this would be the most ideal get these two, but I don't think I can get them from anybody. You don't have them. You don't have them. Nobody has them. Nobody. Okay. He's back. Uh, just go this way. Go this way, go this way. Pilgrim's down here, looks like. Not bad. We'll, uh... We're so close, we're so close. Two turns, and we'll have that. Now we do have backup, we can, we can summon an army. Which I think would be okay, it just bankrupt us magically, and then they'd all disband, which would be bad. Hmm. I need conduits and stuff. I think I need to start throwing down Doom Tech trenches. Doom Doom trenches. The domain has been invaded. You walked through my lands, did you? Answer a call to war. That's gonna be a big yes, sir. Um, he might call these two. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna do it. I don't believe... Lint broke his defensive pact. You accept it. Okay, good. Noctis has been defeated somewhere. Good. Oh man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to cast this to bring guys back. I actually am not 100% sure where he is. Well, in two turns. We have war with you. No, only with you. Don't think he's going to have a guy out in the middle of nowhere, but we can... Recall people back, which I should recall the guy in the back. 
despair. Enemy army gains demoralized. Let me do damage. I think lowering the morale might be okay. Gonna need more magic. Black Owls gives us stuff. Wizard level Chronogate. Trench. Dark Forge. I kinda need all these things. Need a soul well. We need all of it. Also need to grow into here. And start building a farm of conduits. I'm gonna grow in five turns. So what I'll do is This gives us 10 mana, which is pretty good. And 10 draft. Also takes 10 turns to build, which is kind of insane. We'd be better off with basically everything else. You know what? We'd be better off with that. Build faster. Works Park and Annex of Province. Fantastic. Let us do this. Uh, yeah. He already hates us, right? He has an actual claim? I think he already hates us all the way. 100%. Yes, he already super hates us. So, taking these provinces won't make it any worse, I, I would assume. Um... Taking this gets us access this direction. Taking this holds this province. Hey, you know what? You can tat him, I don't really care too much about. Okay, are we gonna just recall this guy? It's gonna cost us so much. I'm gonna have to, they're like in the wrong place of the world. Boom. Near city. There he goes. He's recalled. The other two can walk the way back. That way I can get this guy to merge up with this army. You can do your thing. Yeah. I just want these guys to go attack Hollow Hall or something. Or Omen Sphere. Omni Sphere. I need Celestial Heavy to hold. I don't know how it's going to hold with these massive armies running up on them. Are they actually coming? Here's my plan. Um... This won't cause damage, but I can trespass in here, no problem. So if anyone wants to fight, they can. These two declared friendship. I don't get it. Rivalry. Boom. The shadows have been learned. The whole world is now seen. Black wall. Wow, he is four city strong. Yeah, that is not good for us. Social Haven's one. Prime City. There is some land under here that I could take. I have to dig some of this out. He's got an outpost. There's Gore Pit. So that means he must be here? Yeah, there he is. I don't know what he's going to do. Glassburg. There's Choke Point. There's Crosswall and a big army there. Big old empty area here. I don't know why this is empty. He should have taken it. He's busy dealing with very large problems. 
Tyridge is alone and going to die. Yeah, he's going to die for sure. So, I have three cities. Most guys have two, it looks like. The big players, you have three. You have two and a and one, but you have you have, your whole army is right here. The cross wall. Again, Tatum is having problems in this back here. Okay. And it does look like Celestial Haven beat Thorgrim. This is good. This is good. What does this do? Infinite sensing range. Armies in such a range reveal their numbers and alliance. So we can now sense the whole map in terms of armies. So we will always know where every army is. Ain't no one sneaking up on us, that's for sure. I have a feeling, though, Hambinger is about to die. You are in trouble, sir. Can I get any money from him? No, this ruler's in the void. His army just got defeated. Clerkham Hammer Hall has withdrawn, so he just got beaten. Ruler Noctis has returned to Lowell. Ruler Hambinger has withdrawn. Yeah. Yeah. So many bad things have happened. Um. Wow. Shipyard would be helpful. Shrine would be helpful. Gotta go shipyard. Ordinance. You just chill right there, friend. And let me just have a look. Where his army is. There's his army there. All kinds of crazy going on. It looks like everyone's really just keeping one big army. There's Blint's army not engaged in anything. Yeah, okay. We'll end the turn here. Bogram's army's here. Blint has actually the most. Eh, no, never mind. He just moved his stuff. To Don Bean. And I guess we'll have a C. They ran back home after killing everybody at Shrieker's Tomb. Oh, I love having vision. This is great. There's Thorgrim's main force. Wow. One, two, three, four units. He's making some money. These guys have quit rivalry. These guys ended their rivalry. They equipped friendship. Okay, doesn't help me. This guy. I would love to kill Howl Hall's dudes. Hold on, I'll move you first. There you go. Move there. I want to teleport you. Can't teleport both. It's not worth teleporting. I'd have to do it over two turns. It also cost me 200 mana, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so we'll have, in three turns, this one. Which will be nice. The knowledge, this would be good too. Anything that gives us... Really? Conjure... Defended magic to that would be good too. Armies are returned to full. Magic origin units. I think this direction is where we have to go from here on out. I also need a fourth city. I just don't know where I'd put it. Silver wall is a good spot. Oh, his third city is actually underground. Right here. It's a good one, too. Uh, I could dig this out. I could put one here, but then I'd open up Gloom Hollow to attack. Yeah, getting one on this side would be ideal. 
Taking center pike might work out. Well, for the turn, keep going. Just burning through turns without doing anything. It's not good. It's not good. The city's not growing at all. I actually don't know why. Attack off. I'm getting us at least one unit. <laughs> so that's nice. Delver Secrets. Gain Mark of the Owl. Seeds of this race gain whatever seeds of this race have. No ancient wonders in the domain. Wow. Or. Gain no traits for six turns with a bunch of knowledge. Nah, they'll take the trait. We could do a city instability. We gain two shadow affinity too. But mainly it's, uh. We get a whole ton of knowledge. Um, yeah, so you're good. You're good because of this Ancient Wonder. And you're good because of this one, so all our cities are fine. This is fantastic. You're back, Thorgrim. Shipyard built. Good. Fishmonger gets you extra food. Underground Lab gets us money, but Fishmonger also gets you to Grand Wharf. Grand Wharf gives you production. Seafarer's Guild gives you draft gold food production for every coast province. Which would be really good, then we just build all coast provinces. I think that's probably the way to go. Although I do need more magic, so I gotta build that shrine first. There's the Astral Trade Red Rally. That's gonna be good. Astral Trade, let's go. So he's in there doing who knows what. If I uh if I run up here, it'll cause You know what? I'm curious. Cause he's outside, right? There's two of them there. a rogue marauder. No, that should be fine. Should be fine, because it's killing marauder. Trespass, he'll get mad. I don't care about that. And, uh... Let's see what an auto combat looks like. Easy victory. Can I declare war on him? You... It's a risky battle. Never mind. You'd have to move forward, but you can't. Only this guy can. Not good. Well, the Rogue Marauder's dead. So, I'd like to get out of your land. Ulu leveled up. That's fantastic. To get more stuff. Alright. Um. Yeah. Quick phase, hello. You don't need vigor, you just cast it crazy if I remember correctly. Um So support skills, I think I gave everyone Yeah, defensive training, I think. Make the armor army better. And we got the remains of somebody, so now we're getting things off of them. So we're gonna keep you. Inspect. Oh, you got the good weapon. Okay, you're gonna keep it there. It also animate you too. All right, we'll uh, no, we'll do one more turn, and then we'll call an episode here after this turn. Bam, bam, bam. What's gonna happen? I want these ads to be unleashed on somebody. Oh, 
Hole Hole won that battle. Are you Hallow Hole? You are. And you're Hallow Hole too. Definitely want to kill the Hallow Hole units. Or have these guys come out and kill them. That would be an ideal. Who the most announced? Noctis has crossed you. Yeah. Yeah, he has. Ambinger has returned. Ambinger has withdrawn. You got... Oh, you're being... Flattened now. There's nothing you can do. Bye, Hambinger. You're being killed. Nothing I can do about that. It's gonna lead me into a war. Or leave me in a war that I don't want to be in. Do we go Overlord's Tower? I think I do. For 85 now. That's super expensive. We built the Merchant's Guild. Great. Uh, soul well is required. Dark Forge gets you 17 gold total. Soul well's gonna start getting us holes that we need, so get to work. Get us what we need. So if I go here, we go here, that's six units. Declare war on Overlord. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, what I do want to do is get... Back to my land. So best way to do that is to go like this. Now they might send some units to come attack me, which won't be great. Okay. Yeah, everything is going well. It's going. We're trying to basically get up a big bunch of money. So we can throw a bunch of units and then do something. High Ridge, I can't save. Um, I can hit centers. Like, if I go, actually, how would I get there? I have to run through Loxel here and all this mess to get down the center spike. Which isn't a terrible idea. Except I don't have a full stack of units. Well, I'd love to take in can't have them, but that's not going to happen. So, Hambinger, you're dead. That's guaranteed. Blint. we got defensive packs with these guys. You have one with Blint, which I definitely don't like. And you're number one. You're fourth, but you have a defensive pack with Alfred, which isn't good for us. Um, it's actually good that they lost their alliance, though. Hmm. So here's the thing. I'm still flirting with the idea that Celestial Haven can be killed. I think I'm just going to end up giving it up to Thorgrim. And Thorgrim's likely going to turn on me, because he's got all this and nothing to throw his army at. I don't know what else he would throw his army at. Problem is he's got he's friends with Blint, and Blint is also very strong. So you'd be fighting at least three stacks, I think, of units. Three stacks of eighteen. With our one. And that'd be very difficult. We'd have to win every battle. It also cost us a fortune in mana, which I just don't have. So options are not exactly great. We don't have a lot of land that we can use. Try and cheese something out. Unless we drop a city here. Like drop a city here. What's underground here? A stad. 
So like I go right here, drop a city, and then piss off Nocturne. What city is this? Gold wall. I think I can deal with these little armies. They're not so bad. Alright, well anyways, we'll see you in the next episode. We'll see how far we can get.